yeah. Bloom Burrow Collector Boosty Box number two. Hello, evening. It's me, it's CGB. How's music volume a little high? You'll let me know in the comments, right? This went so well last night. Let's do it again. I could do a nightly Bloomboro collector box. That's a good time. Oh yeah. The hot tub hair is definitely back. <laughs> as well as my dojo samurai shirt. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we wear what we gotta wear. I don't get dressed up for these, okay? These are my fun videos. This is just my free time sharing with you guys. The end of a day. You know what I did today? I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. I thought that movie was very good, but that's not what you're here for. Let's crack this pack. Mm -mm -mm. It is very hard actually to pull off this token and reveal slowly. So let's see what we can do. Heartborn Battler. Three mana, two, three haste. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, two damage to target opponent. Nasty. Is haste. You know, that's usually the big deal in mono red. Dark Star Augur. Two, three flying dark confidant ish ability. An offspring for a black. A patch recruit. Elspeth, Sun's champion as a mouse. <laughs> Gotta love that. Sunspine Lynx. So that is a rare regular frame version of the elemental cat that says players can't gain life. Damage can't be prevented. When it enters, it deals damage to each player equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. <laughs> Awesome in Commander. Wouldn't be surprised if you saw this in Standard just a little bit. I mean, it looks like there is a nuclear bomb coming out of this cat. And that is a land. Uh, I've learned from comments that the lands, what season they are, makes them rarer. The snow-covered ones, uh, this, the winter versions are the rarest. This one's not winter. Rockfall Village. Wildfire Howl, Jelly, Gerbit, Fell. One of the more beautiful removal spells they've made recently. What a nice foil that is. Rust Shield Rampager, Moonrise Cleric, Bonebind Orator, Pilated Provisioner, Scales of Shales. <laughs> Hi! Come here. Very, very silly purple eyed lizard we got there. Mm. Sometimes they go hard these days. They're hard to open. Three coon treasure. Whew. Oh, that is a foil I was hoping to get. That is the birds of paradise. The imagined critters in the shiny, shiny foil. Love that. We also get an ant queen. Festival of Embers. Evercoat Earthstein? Hideaway 3, Hideaway 3, Trample. 5 mana for a 6 5 elemental bear. Never deals combat damage to a player if there are cards exiled. You may play one of them without paying its mana cost. Eh. These commander cards, it's always hard to tell what's good. You know what is good? Dragonhawk Fates Tempest in the regular frame, which I do need for my collection. This bird dragon, they're saying. Colagon. The first thing I thought was Bolus, but that would be stupid. Fall, it's a fall mountain. Patchwork Formation. Coruscation Mage. Tangle Tumbler, Bandit's Talent, Polly Wop, Water Spout Warden, Warren Elder, Rough Shot Duo, Rough Shod Duo, a Mouse Raccoon, 
dagger fang duo many many creature type duos nice to see all the creatures out here getting along i should have my like mvps here in the middle who wants to be in the mvp pile i think this uh foily bird goes there for sure foily bird you're in the mvp pile right now but we're looking for more raised foils we hit one last night if I hit one every box, that would be insanely lucky. But the raised anime foils are the bangers for the coming good. It's a nice little token synergy card. Season of loss. Definitely need more seasons. Seasons are really, really powerful cards, I think. Especially commander, but they might break in standard effect. Who couldn't green shell? There. <laughs> feckend, feckend, feckend. Uh This one, uh, there's a video coming out using this card. Calamity of Cinders. Castral the Wind Crested. So, trying to go for some kind of a bird thing, and I just don't know if there's room for birds in the standard. Definitely a commander card. Ooh, is that a snow swamp? Oh, it is. There's usually only one of the snowlands like per box from what I've seen on other videos. So we take those. We definitely take those. Wear down. Mudflat Village, Star Charter, Lupin Flower Village, Bark Form Harvester, Shore Up, Steam Path Charger, Run Away Together. Oh, it's so cute. And Ravine Raider. A rogue always looking for more rogues in magic these days it's an outlaw a lot of the lizards are outlaws roguish lizards wabbit again Ugh. Ooh, love that i love the imagine critters i love the ones that are commanders this means i'm probably going to build a kaikar deck now i never did before but when you see some of these new arts you really want to do it so that goes in my mvp category another reimagined one this one's not foil it's a squirrel mob we'll go in a chatterfang deck that i'm sure to build tempt with bunnies <laughs> gina loves this card i have to put it in her Ginny fey deck that is a salvation swan Restoration Angel in bird form. What a beautiful card to have in foil, though. Mountain is... I don't know what season all of them are, but that's not winter. Peerless Recycling. Teapot Slinger. Mabel's Metal. Metal? Mabel's Metal. Long River Lurker. Sunshower Druid. Life Creed Duo. Pearl of Wisdom. Crumb and Get It. Raccoon Rallier. I don't like having my hands so high. I'm gonna try zooming in. We're gonna get tighter. That's what she, there's a joke there. Let's just not do it, let's not do it. So that's the Craig Flame. And that is another Imagine Critter foil. Look at the size of that strawberry, it's Quain. That is going to go well in the group hug deck with Miss Bumbleflower. It comes with that deck, but I, I need that anime. I need that special edition. Manifold Mouse, Ember Cleave on a Mouse, Thunder Trap Trainer, Bloodroot Apothecary. This one, I just learned about this card. I really want to run this card in Commander. This little stupid squirrel is three mana for three, three, toxic two. When it enters, you and target opponent each create a treasure. Ha, ah, that's nice. Whenever an opponent sacks a non-creature token, like a treasure, that player gets two poison counters. Dude, if they use if they use five treasures with this on the field, they die. Screw treasures, man. Treasures in commander. It's too much. Dockside, screw that card. This card gets them. I love that. I love that this card gets them. Azer Beast Binder, surprisingly effective rat rogue. And we got a forest. Heartfire Hero, Tide Collar Mentor, Stargaze, Otterball Antics, Junk Blade Bruiser. These names, High Stride. Bellowing Crier. Bellowing Crier. 
that's the name. <laughs> Whisker Quill Scribe and Rabbit Response. <laughs> like rapid, but rabbit. Yeah. Come on, baby. Raised foil me. If I get two for two on raised foils, I'm going to start calling content creator privilege. Okay. There it is. It's hard to remove them safely. All right, Azer Beast Binder. Uh, this one in the special art. Season of Weaving. We want all the seasons we can get, but this one has use a plot thing to draw a card. So it can be six mana draw five. Just saying. Essence Channeler. Steelbur Champion. A foil regular art mockingbird which is a pretty fun little clone mountain village oak hollow village blooming blast strike shrike force <laughs> pretty sure i said it wrong before flying double strike vigilance on a one three wow gossip's talent mildrill assailant sticky tongue sentinel glide dive duo Night Whirl Hermit and a frilled spark shooter. Mm. All right. You know what? I'm going to do it while they're face down. I'm going to carefully remove the token. Look at that. Flower Foot Sword Master. Uh, so on the other side of these tokens is usually an offspring because the offspring tokens are kind of funny and cute but they're basically one one copies so on the back of all of these you can usually find something's offspring which is kind of cool i've been taking a making a habit of putting an offspring token next to the original byway barterer two and a red three three menace raccoon rogue whenever you expend four you may discard your hand if you do draw two i ran into this in early access a couple big mana raccoon decks trying this card it was all right I hope it does well, because this is a full art foil. Maronar. I have a foil one already. Mist Breath Elder. Trail Tracker Scout. Cruel Claws Heist. Oh, this card. This card is sus. And it might be very standard played. Black Black Sorcery. Gift a card. Target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non-land. Exile it. If the gift was promised, you may cast that card with mana of any type. <laughs> so you almost always, I think, want to give them a card, especially if they're any kind of a contr slower control combo or mid-range deck, because just stealing one of their absolute bangers gives them one less amazing card in their deck and one extra powerful d card in yours. Card seems actually pretty great for a two-mana discard spell, and it will probably be really popular. Stock the Pantry, Home Creed Mentor, Starforged Sword, Consumed by Greed, Uncharted Haven, Cash Grab, Agate Blade, Assassin, look at that freaking frog, Intrepid Rabbit, Dazzling, Hummingbird, Denial. Dude, they make the cards look really good in foil these days. That's why I love collecting foil sets. For those who don't know, I try to get from every set one copy of each card in foil in original frame like this one. And that's how I basically collect. I will get like anime arts and some of the special arts if I really like them, but I don't put pressure on myself to collect all of them. Oh yeah, we're doing it like this. Jack Draw, Jack Daw, Savior. It's the first one of these I've had. The Bird Cleric. Three mana, three, one flying. When this or another creature you control with flying dies, return another target creature with lesser value from your graveyard to your battlefield. Yeah, looking for loops to break this. Who knows some Jack Daw, Savior combos. There's Chatterfang, fresh, looking fresh. Osteomancer Adept. Hello, Bard of the Brambles, Precon Commander. And there's one, Kitsa Otterball Elite. This card seems kind of crazy. 
two mana, one, three vigilance, prowess, tap to draw a card, then discard a card, copy an instant or sorcery. You can only do it if the power is three or greater. Interesting, interesting mythic otter there. Overprotect, reptilian recruiter, seasoned warren guard, huskbuster swarm, hidden grotto, conduct electricity, sonar strike, early winter, ah, might of the meek. Yep, I've got a few decks I need to build from this set. Pretty much any raised foil anime art I open, I'm going to try to build. And of course, the one I got yesterday was raw, which I can't use as a commander. I'll just need a different otter, different otter as the commander. Who should it be? I wonder. Let me know in the comments. Secluded courtyard. Ooh, this is a special guest. Oh, wow. That is a foil special guest secluded courtyard. I love that. Look at the windmill. This reminds me of Efteling in the Netherlands that I recently visited. Shout out to Ash and Libby. That is awesome. Liliana of the Dark Realms. What a squirrely girly. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Scrap shooter. Rolling ham ham, ham sphere. Okay. Plus one plus one for each hamster you can draw. Okay. That's fine. Elenia Divergent Storm is probably the commander I'll end up using, but we'll see. There's another otter, right? There's a four mana one that gives all your creatures prowess. There's a good chance that's the commander we're talking about. Fine Reap Mentor, Night Fisher, Wix Patrol, hop to it, heaped harvest, head of the homestead, so many H's. Thistle, down players, veteran guard mouse, mind spiral. Blue cards. Man. So many typo creature decks. I feel like I'm losing my blue control mage identity. Why isn't there a typo, you know, for the control mage? We got three packs to go for that anime raised foil, guys. Three packs to go. Manifold mouse. That could be useful. I bet that card's going to be a standard player. Woo. Season of the Burrow. That's the white one. It makes rabbits, it exiles things, and lets controllers draw cards, and it returns target permanent card, the mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with an indestructible counter. It's a good season. All the seasons are pretty good. Lumra Bellow of the Woods, the bear that brings back land. Boom, Sunspine Lynx. The Odd Acorn Gang, good, because the one that came in my pre-con is missing after the worst possible commander show stolen squirreled away like an acorn i want of my own it's not a it's not a public store anymore guys i know one of you has it i know one of you has it i'm coming to get it back you can have this one i'll trade it i just want the original one because it's foil lunar convocation is another really cool one that goes in the bat deck i think this card is very fun planes I have Spine, Wolverine, Gecko, Flash Lasher, Patchwork Banner, Druid of the Spade, Dire Sight, Sk Sky Skipper Duo, Saza Caps Brew, Wax Wayne, a Witness. Cool. Another, like, just look at the colors in this. Like, you look down here at kind of the color explosion, and then you see it in foil, and it, it just feels so different. I don't know. It, th these cards are jumping. I just wish, I wish the card stock was heavier. Curling's annoying and all, but just, I feel like magic cards. They've been around for so long that they can't do this. But it feels like if a card, if a game deserved a, a better card stock, a heavier card stock, it would be Magic the Gathering. Enemy Race Foil. Dawn's Truce. This card is good. It's like Heroic Intervention in white is kind of nuts and another amazing art kidnap <laughs> door port mage insatiable frugivore what is this i don't know this one when it enters create a food then you may exile three cards if you do repeat this process so you can exile a big graveyard to make a lot of food sacrifice x food creatures get plus x plus o and game menace i don't know it's really mana intensive 
I wonder if I'd even play it in a food deck like Frodo and Sam. Portent of Calamity. Reveal the top X of your library. For each type, you may exile a card from among that type. Put the rest into your graveyard. You may cast a spell from among the exile cards without paying its mana cost if you exile four or more cards. What? Then you put the rest of the exiled cards into your hand. So hopefully you do this for a high enough number that it hits four different types. You exile them, probably the most expensive or relevant one. You cast it for free, and then you put three cards in your hand. I mean, just cast a Traxa. Why? Why? What? Right? Right? Just cast a Traxa. Swamp, Wandertail Mentor, Harvest, Harvest Right Host, Ruthless Negotiation, Repel Calamity. Ooh. Look at that art. Let's go, little mousy. Corpse Berry Cultivator. Treetop Sentries. Seed Pod Squire. Thorn Plate Intimidator. Finch Formation. I don't know. These these cards are sweet to collect, man. I just I just want the anime raised foil. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Put a purpose on this video. Come on, baby. This is it. It's our last chance here. All right, slow reveal, slow reveal, slow reveal. The offspring. Then we got common, saver, bravekin, take out the trash, tree guard, three tree, sinister monolith, sugar coat, <laughs> hoarder's overflow, hunt, hunter's talent. Good card, right? Pretty good card. Swamp. Valley Might Caller. That's the frog warrior that gets bigger and bigger. Communal Brewing. For the common good. We're getting there. The Elfal Strix. All right. This has to be the one. Ember Heart Challenger. That. I'm going to hate this card so much. The amount of mono red that's going to be running this mouse warrior is going to be so frustrating. But here we are. Ember Hard Challenger. Well, that's going to do it for this collector booster box. We definitely had some hits. I'm really excited that I got three foil Imagine Critters and I got one foil special guest. All of those are going to go in the permanent binders and several other things are going to go into decks. No anime raised foil this time, but you can't get them in every box, right? And hopefully we'll get back to it tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. You're cool.